someone has requested that I tell some of my nurses experiences um, I'm remembering one of them <clears throat> this is when I was young and I used to wear uh, a nursing uniform that was a dress not pants and a top so so one time I was wearing my dress uniform and I had my stethoscope on. Let me show you. <laughs> so what happened was I had bent over and the end of the stethoscope caught on the bottom of my dress, my nurse uniform dress, and it lifted up the dress. I had a slip on underneath, of course, but I didn't realize it. So I walked into this patient's room and his wife was there with him, visiting him. And she looks at me and she says, do you always walk into a, a patient's room like that? And I said, what do you mean? And she looked down at me, and there I was with my dress lifted up like this. And this was the slip. <laughs> well, that's one little story. Another time, um, I had a doctor as a patient. And he was, uh, besides a medical doctor, he was also experienced in hypnotism. And I didn't believe in that at the time. So he said, well, let me hypnotize you. And he said, don't worry. You can never do anything under hypnosis that you wouldn't normally do. You know, something against your beliefs or opinions. So I sat there and he hypnotized me. And he said, what would you like? me to hypnotize you to help you do or not do and I said well I'd like to not overeat and so he hypnotized me and I, I just felt normal afterwards and I, I went out of the room and that night uh, as frequently as this happened some patient had left a large box of chocolates as a thank you gift when they were discharged, uh, thank you to the nurses. So usually I would take a piece or two, and I wanted to take a piece, but I just I just couldn't make my arm go and grab it. I couldn't do it. So the hypnosis worked. The thing is with hypnosis, you have to have repeat treatments. It's not like I was never going to reach for a piece of candy for the rest of my life. It just worked for that night. I had a patient, and I went into his room, and he had this gift there from a friend, and it was a doll about, yeah, about this big, and it was meant to look like uh, Inspector Clouseau. So it was a trench coat and, um, you know, a mustache and, um, you know, everything looked just like Clouseau. And I said, oh, that's nice. And he said, wait a minute, look. Then he opened the trench coat of the doll and there it was. <laughs> there it was. Uh, the doll was exposing himself, um, his reproductive organs, you know, a flasher. So why on earth would he show that to me? I was like 20 years old, you know. Anyway, I, I didn't, I wasn't impressed and I just kept a poker face and, you know, I did whatever I had to do in there and left. Now, this person who requested nursing experiences also mentioned burnout. People like me don't get burned out. I mean, we just live to, you know, save the world. Um, my mother would never let me bring home injured animals, uh, you know, when I was a child or a teenager, but she let me bring home injured people, you know, people that were in trouble or sick or whatever. So 
that was nice. And let me see, she also asked about my back, like lifting patients. Um, I, I always was active as a child, uh, skating, swimming, uh, then as a teenager, tennis, and um, we, we tried to save money on buses in Miami Beach, so we walked everywhere. So, And when I got older, I did back exercises. Um, I still do that, usually every morning, because I don't want to have a back trouble. I um, had a car accident once, and I did not want to have that kind of pain ever again. So if you do back exercises to you know, keep, keep your back strong, um, you, you don't have back trouble, no matter who you have to lift. Now, when I was on the farm, I used to lift 50 pound uh, bags of grain that I bought, but uh, I can't do that anymore. I, c I can only do about, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 pounds now, uh, probably because of some bars bursitis. And um, if I think of any more nursing stories, some of them I can't tell because they're just too terrible. Oh, there was this lady, and this was in a, a rehab center, geriatric patients. And uh, I saw her for the first time in the afternoon, and I said, how are you doing today? And she said, well, I'm pregnant. And this woman was like, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 years old. And I said... Yeah, who's the father? She said, well, we'll just have to wait till it's born and see which banana in the bunch it resembles. So I've had a lot of nice patients, a lot of funny patients. And um, if you love people, uh, nursing's a great job. But uh, you, you do take a lot of risk. Um, you could get stuck by a needle. I only got stuck by a needle once an injection I was giving, but it was not at work. It was at the farm when I was trying to give penicillin to a, a very uh, uncooperative goat, and I did get stuck by the needle. Um, but nothing happened to me, although sometimes I feel like, like I walk like a goat. I don't know.